I, I thank you for venturing out to uh, Old Country Buffet this early in the morning. First of all, thank you to the Old Country Buffet staff. I think this is probably a little larger than your average morning crowd. And uh, we're really excited to, uh, to have you all here for the 13th uh, annual Champions for Youth Breakfast. It was probably about 10 years ago that, uh, that, that Dan Spoon and Walt Kelsey from First Baptist Church of Lakewood invited me to come to this breakfast, and, uh, and, and I fell in love with this organization. And, and that's why I'm here, because I fell in love with this organization that I got asked to get involved, and I did, and I've been on the board now for a long time. I, I think I'm in seven years or some ridiculous number like that, but I, I love this organization, and I love what we're doing, and I'm excited today that you all get to hear about the magic. You get to hear about the hope. You get to hear about the difference that, that you and this organization are making in the lives of students in the Clover Park School District. Before we get started, though, I want to, uh, I want to thank some of the important folks for, for being here today. We have many elected officials and school officials and community leaders and, and elected folks from the city that are here. And we want to just thank you all for, for coming here today. Um, on my list uh, of, of people we have, um, Dick Murray, thanks so much for being here. And uh, Christine Kildoff and uh, Steve Oban and, and uh, Bruce Damer. Um, from all you guys that came up from Olympia, I sure appreciate that. Uh, Rosa McLeod is here on behalf of uh, Senator Maria Cantwell. Uh, representing the, C uh, the city of Lakewood, we have Don Anderson, Deputy Mayor uh, Jason Whalen, Mary Moss, Marie Barth, and uh, Paul Boki. Ah, Paul, we talked about your name last night and then I mess it up. And uh, Paul Boki is here, uh, Mike, Mike Brandstatter, John Simpson, and John Calde Caulfield. Wonderful to have you guys all here and sure appreciate it. Former mayor of Lakewood and uh, county, uh, county council chair Doug Richardson is here. Uh, from Pierce College, we have Dr. Michelle Johnson and Denise Yoakum. West Pierce Fire and Rescue Chief Jim Sharp is here as well as Police Chief Mike Zaro. Uh, board members, uh, we have wonderful, many wonderful board members including Tim Plant who is uh, now the uh, you, got, you have an official title at the hospital, Tim. Really excited about that. He's the interim chief operating officer at St. Clair Hospital. And uh, St. Clair has been a wonderful partner for uh, communities and schools. And we want to thank you for being here as well, taking time out of your busy day. And representing Clover Park School District, we also have uh, Superintendent Debbie LeBeau and several of her other um, key leaders there as well. And we have board members Carol Jacobs, uh, Becky Kelsey, and Paul Wagaman as well. And of course, any event wouldn't be complete in Lakewood without uh, Bill Harrison. So thank you all so much for, for being here and being a part of this event uh, like I said um, I love this organization and and I wouldn't be here if if I didn't believe in in what they do and when asked to describe what communities and schools does uh, that's a big question because uh, this is a task that we uh, when, when we put people in schools and we say, here, support this school, support these students, there's a lot of different nuts and bolts of what can be done. And people are going to get up here and share more about what actually happens. But I want to describe it for you in the way that I've come to best be able to describe what they do. These people are unrelenting purveyors of hope. They're unrelenting purveyors of hope. They get to believe in a student beyond what a student believes in themselves. They get to see past an obstacle in a student li student's life and say, we can be a part of solving that. You focus on school. You don't worry about food, we can get you food. You don't worry about clothes, we can get you clothes. You don't worry about a place to live right now. You worry about school, we'll worry about the details. And the staff of community schools gets to come in and, and just pour hope into lives. I worked with students for a long time and one of the hardest things I've ever seen in my life is the, the flame of hope extinguished in a child. And that can happen at a really young age. And, and the wonderful staff that you have here that are, work for communities and schools, their job is to keep that hope alive, to keep that flame burning and keep that drive in these students so they can worry about their education and they can worry about who they are and what they're gonna be. A big part of making this event happen are the wonderful sponsors that have stepped up to be a part of making this event happen. And um, it's, uh, it, it goes without saying that this year has been, uh, been our largest attended year. It's also uh, been wonderful to have so many businesses step up. We've had 18 businesses that stepped up and their, their names are, are on the program and on your placemats there. And I just wanna thank a few of them. Uh, $2,500, the Thompson Family Foundation. Cindy is doing wonderful work in our community and I really appreciate Cindy. A $1,000 level, Harborstone Credit Union has really stepped in. St. Clair Hospital, LeMay Enterprises and Fred Meyer. Uh, $800, Dennis Agashiyama, who's a board member and dedicated to this community, works at the city of Lakewood and really just absolutely believes in this place. And, and Dennis, we really appreciate your support and your 
support and your just ongoing love for this community. $500, we have the Asia Pacific Cultural Center, Clover Park Rotary, Columbia Bank, G. Rob Cooper, uh, Lakewood First Baptist Church, Pierce College Foundation, Pierce County, Count, uh, Pierce County Community and Technical Colleges, uh, Puget Sound Orthopedic, Lakewood Ford, Rolf's Import Auto, Janet Cox, if you want to see, Janet Cox was my principal, my vice principal when I was in high school. And uh, if you want to see two grown men sweat, watch this. Hey, Eddie and Mark, Janet wants to see you in your office right now. Uh, Clover Park. Uh, how many times have you heard that in your life? <laughs> Went to high school with those guys. I heard that from them too. Um, where was I on my official list? Uh, uh, Fred Brotherton, uh, Rick Kirk. Uh, Neil Walter Real Estate and and many many other people that have stepped up to be a part of, of supporting this event just coming into this event and and being uh, just being amazing and of course again Old Country Buffet thank you so much for hosting this event uh, this is just a wonderful opportunity for us to uh, just share what's happening in our community with with you all and and the way that the way that Lakewood gathers its strength is through its people and this is a gathering of some of the best people you're ever going to get in a room together and I'm so excited and so blessed to be a part of this and I just can't wait for you to hear the stories that are going to come and the amazing uh, amazing just life change that's happened. I'm going to bring Dave O'Keefe up here. Dave's the executive director for Communities and Schools of Lakewood and uh, Dave's got uh, Dave's going to share a little more about uh, about what's happening in communities and schools and share a little bit more about the vision of of where we're going and there he is. Dave, come on up. Everybody welcome Dave O'Keefe.